Good morning, folks. It's Echo here. Grab yourself a cup of coffee and I'm going to show you around the base. We had a really productive evening here. The zombies seemed to leave us alone, so we added some new workstations on. And we have a handful more to finish off. But starting off in the corner here, we've got a new research station that we just put in here. This is going to allow us to take all of our hard-earned data and use it to research schematics. Additionally, we've got a maintenance station over here. This is going to make it much cheaper to repair those items as they get torn apart and usage out against the zombies. But let's go ahead and see if we can put together a tailor station. That's next on my list here. And the main reason we want that tailor station is so we can craft pocket mods, because that's going to allow us to carry more items when we're out in the field, which is going to allow us to be a little bit more productive and stay out longer. Looks like we have all the materials, so let's craft this sucker up. And then once that's researched up, we can just use it, and we will now know how to make a tailor station. So let's just take a look and see what it's going to take to make it. It looks like we're gonna need to get some more stuff while we're out and about. So we need some scrap plastic, some glue, and some more rope. And I don't think I have the materials to make any of that. So instead, let's head out to that first quest we've got over at Fat's Food and see if we can find some of the materials we'll need. Had a nice jog across town. Hopefully we get a vehicle soon, which will cut down on that travel time. After we finish this fetch quest here, we'll check back in with Ellen and hopefully she had a successful supply drop. That looks like the last one that I'm seeing right here. Let's go ahead and pick up our satchel here. That'll complete our quest to bring back to Ellen. I'm not sure what she's gotten here, but I'm sure she needs it. I'm sure there's a couple friends waiting for us back there, but hopefully more importantly, there's some food waiting for us. Hey buddy, one little straggler just crawling around, just looking for a bite to eat. Let's quickly grab what we got here in the room and then we'll move back and see if there's any end loot. Ooh, mega crush potential. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought y'all were closed. I was just looting the place. I can't hit him from there. Come here. It's okay, buddy. I, I think you're really closed. The kids on the bus don't want sham sandwiches. Just, just, just let it go. It's going to be okay. Hello. All right. Follow me, gentlemen. Ring around the rosy pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes. We, ow. That's not how it goes. Ow. <laughs> Here, have some of that and some of that. You have some too. All right, let's get that end loot and get out of here. Shotgun rounds are always good. Some armor that we're going to probably just sell. Ooh, hobo stew. That's tasty. We'll take that for sure. Let's see. Anything else interesting in here? Garbage? Mmm, brains. Tasty. Mmm, desk is locked. Let's actually pick this one because I have had good luck finding schematics in these. So we'll just sit here and see if we can pull this off real quick. There we go. It's catching a little bit, a little bit there. And trash. All right, let's get going. So unfortunately in that last fight, I did suffer a concussion. So hopefully maybe we can find some meds here with Ellen and maybe we'll hear about that supply drop. What's that? Nothing yet. All right, I'll check back later. Let's see what you got from the quest rewards here. Oh, we'll absolutely take this hammer. We've got a lot of work to do with the base. I know that you mentioned that there's a large horde inbound in about four days, so we'll start patching up the base and getting it ready. Let's see what else you got for us here. Uh, the buried supplies is close, but I think I'd prefer to do something where we can just run through a building and clear it. Let's, let's snag this office hmm. building down here. Awesome. Let's not waste any more time. Agreed. We'll go take care of that for you. Before we do, I want to grab some quick resources so that we're not struggling at the last minute getting everything ready for Horde Night. So 
So that's a little bit more stone and wood and we'll pack that away up here in the base. My goal is to harvest a little bit as we go along so we're not having to do it all at once at the end. Now let's toss everything back in boxes here, do a little bit quick organization and then head over here to make some food. Luckily we picked up some eggs so we'll crank out some bacon and eggs and then see if we've got any painkillers which we unfortunately do not have. So let's head over and repair real quick. All right, that's taken care of. And then let's pick our food up off the fire and we'll leave the other one just cooking to pick up for later. And let's head on to the next quest. So looking around the base, in addition to the materials we're gonna have to gather, we definitely are gonna need some better tools. We need to figure out how to get a better ax. But in the meanwhile, let's go check this place out and see if it has some goodies for us. Let's get in here and see what we can find, but let's be a little bit sneaky about it. Try to kill the trash here and see if we can get some stealth kills in with the bow. Anybody in here? I see you hiding over there in the corner. We'll just pop this gentleman in the head. Oh, I did not get the kill on that one. Oh, we got another one right here. He's too close for arrows. I'm switching the swords. There you go. Take that one in the face. <laughs> Swing and miss, buddy. Good try. All right, time for some professional backpedaling here. Keep on coming. There we go. He's down. We'll take that arrow back from him. Thank you kindly for returning that. And here we have another mobile quiver. <laughs> and the arrow has been loose. Thank you kindly for that. I hear one more outside. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. Hello. Let's do a little spin. Dodge. Nope. Unsuccessful. All right. Let's see if we can take this guy down quickly. Oh, jump over the rail there. One more hit or so, and you're down. Those points I put into squirreliness seem to be working out quite effectively for me. Oh, sorry about that, sir. All right, let's get back inside, see if we can loot a few things here, and then we got to move to the downstairs area. Let's see, anything good here? We'll take the chair with us. That'll scrap for leather. Anything in the garbage? Good stuff. Not really. Books, bookcases. Lots of bookcases in here. Good stuff. A book. Oh, furnace schematic! <laughs> yes! Oh man, that's gonna be awesome. All right, let's tear apart this couch here real quick. Oh, that's that's one of the schematics that I was planning to research next, so that's gonna save us data from having to worry about that. The funny thing is, when I'm looting, I'm going so fast that I'm typically just grabbing everything that's in the box, and sometimes I just don't notice things till a second after. Hey, buddy. So one of the things I really enjoy about Undead Legacy is the fact that I feel like my brain is always going in a million different directions trying to think of all the different workstations that I've got to complete. Um, oh, there's that concussion kicking in. Really need to see if we can find some pain meds. But as I was saying in Undead Legacy, you've got all these different workstations that you need to build to progress and then your building takes a lot more materials. So, you know, you really have to figure out a plan we got people at the back door there too. Let's let's just have them wait there for us for a second. <laughs> Surprise! I appreciate when zombies actually act like zombies and keep beating on a door even when you're not there versus, you know, the, the architecturally imbued... Painkillers! Yes! Um, the architecturally imbued that can just look at your base and have x-ray vision and know exactly the weakest spot to go for. I think we cleared out everything below, so it should just be the rooftop and the end loot here, and then we'll be on our way back to Ellen. Hopefully turn this in. Maybe we'll squeeze out one more quest before end of day. We'll see what we can do there to help her out. All right, let's see if we can go all stealth-like here for a second. That'll speed this process up if we can hit something. I don't know if any of you struggle like I do, but with the first bow that you get, the primitive bow, I just cannot get the arrow drop right or the gravity with it. We seem to be on a good trajectory now though. And we're clear. Let's go grab the loot and head on back to Ellen. Medkit is great. The rest of this is all trash. Bandage is always good. We'll take that. That's trash. Anything in the Shamway box. Ugh, miso soup. Could be a lot better. All right, let's head on back. Once we can figure out how to get out of this building without breaking a leg. Can we go off that way? Uh, let's just take the risk. We'll be good. All right, which way do we head? Back over this way. Let's start the long haul back home. Just kidding. I think we've got a detour, folks. 
we're gonna go do a little bit of an educational burglary. Oh, that iron pickaxe is going to be clutch. That was one of the big things we were looking for today. We'll clear these last few out here and get ourselves back home to the trailer. And we are clear. Let's see what's in the box over here. Anything good? Red tea and knives and swords. Doesn't get much better than that. Let's get the hell out of here. So overall, this has been a hella productive day. We've got a huge amount of data and a lot of new schematics that we can work with. We want to get that furnace up and running okay, ideally welcome. tonight. Hey, okay. Ellen. Ooh. Those are not the exciting rewards I was hoping for. I guess we'll you don't look probably take the ammo. Let's go ahead and pick up another job real quick. What do you have here for me? Any word on the supply drop, by the way? No? Nothing? That's disconcerting. Well, in terms of quests, buried supply is problematic. Take Let's take the Tudor house here. If this is the house I'm thinking about, it has right. a ton of books in it, but we'll, uh, we'll have to see once we get there. But in the meanwhile, we've got a little bit more daylight to burn before nightfall. So let's go ahead and harvest some resources and then get back home. All right, so that's a nice little start in terms of some more wood and stone to work with. So one of the things that we're gonna have to do to make this hoard worthy is that we're gonna have to take out the stairs on the back coming in, and then we're gonna take out the stairs in the front and make a pathway in. And we also have to check underneath the base because I think there's some additional pathways in. So let's take a look here and see. Ooh, this, is, this might be rough, folks. Let's see what this is made of and how much time this is gonna take with this little ax. That's going to be a hard pass, folks. I think that we're going to have to wait until we can get that iron pickaxe that we just got um, up and running. For now, let's just take a look around the house and see what other areas are going to have to be corrected. Downstairs, I think this whole staircase is going to have to come out here. Yeah, because they're just going to run straight up in, and that will be less than ideal. We at least have to take off probably the three or four bottom ones, but those are all doubles. So that's going to take quite a bit. And I think that'll eliminate all the routes up from the bottom. So once that is gone, they shouldn't bother with the undercarriage of the house. It's all made out of concrete either way. And then we'll make this area right here into the entrance into the horde base. Let's give ourselves a little bit of light here. These actually use resin now in 2.6. And then we'll do a quick dump into our chests and we'll see if we can build that furnace. So I think we should have all the materials at this stage, which we do, except for that we need an artisan table. And to make that, we're going to need the schematic for that. So let's go through the items that we just got from that crack of books. Let's get rid of some stuff. Definitely don't need two goldenrod recipes. We can do without that for now. Claw hammer, we'll probably need that one. The pickaxe we'll definitely need. That's going to be an awesome addition. Scrap pistol, we can probably scrap. Um, mushroom recipe, I think that's going to be a while before we actually get to farming. So we'll scrap it for now and hope we find another one later. Then what else do we have here? Um, red tea, swords and knives. These are some tougher choices because those could be handy. Let's just throw them in our box over here and we'll scrap them as needed. 
um, when we actually have an immediate need for the data. We'll see how much it's going to take. Oh, do we have friends out here? Oh, that's a whole horde that just went wandering by. We're just going to hide up here. <laughs> you guys just go right on by. We're just going to keep focused on what we got going on. There is no way that I want to try to fight those with this base in its current situation because they will be rampant all through here. So let's see about this artisan table here. Ooh, data we can do. Bricks we're not going to have. That's going to be problematic. Well, folks, I'm going to take the evening and clean up around here and go searching through the attic because I do remember there are a number of pallets that are up there. And then tomorrow we should have a really busy day. We'll be able to put together the artisan table, the furnace ideally, that iron pickaxe schematics. We should hopefully be able to use that once we get some iron processed through the furnace. And then lastly, I think we have one or two quests left before we will get a package from the trader and be able to ideally put together a bicycle with the other parts that we have. Until then, good evening all. Hey folks, it's Echo here. I hope you enjoyed episode three of The Collector. I had a blast putting this one together. If you did, go down in the comments. Tell me what's going on about it, what you thought about it. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. And otherwise, I'll see you on the next one. Take care all.